Chris Lear, meteorologist Fred Campagna here in the Weather Center. It is going to be a warm and dry yeah. Halloween. I know, right? Uh, fitting, though, the way this month has gone. For the most <laughs> part, it's been warm and dry. We did have that cool down in the middle of the month. Still haven't seen a drop of rain nope. in Atlanta. So let's see if we make it right through the end of the month for the first time on record to have a calendar month without uh, any rain in the city of Atlanta. There's the top end of the perimeter right there looking good. Temperatures right now ranging from the mid 50s in the mountains to still the mid 60s in Atlanta and in Athens and Eatonton. So it is a mild night by late October standards. Big picture here, nothing happening again over North Georgia. And any showers that are off to our west, they are drying up as they try uh, off to our east, rather, as they try to move to the west. There's a very low chance of a stray shower tomorrow. The best chance of seeing one looks to be in West Georgia, or at least west of Atlanta tomorrow uh, afternoon. You can see this cloud cover out here. Notice how there are a couple of stray showers showing up over the eastern part of Alabama. But overall, tomorrow looks like another decent day. And Thursday, Halloween. Looking good in the morning, not bad at all. Maybe there's something happening at school on Thursday uh, for the kids in costumes. It'll be comfortably mild early in the day, warm by midday. And then if you're shuttling the kids around a little bit, making the rounds before trick or treating late Thursday afternoon, the weather still looks awesome. Temperatures in the upper 70s late in the afternoon. And then during the evening, it'll slowly fall through the 70s and it will stay dry right through the trick-or-treating hours heading into friday you notice a couple of showers showing up northwest of atlanta there's a front up that way and it may stall a little bit to our northwest so more clouds but still on the warm side for us on friday temperatures tomorrow mid to upper 70s on thursday high temperatures will be near 80 degrees give or take a couple of degrees above 80 for rome and for eatonton slightly below as you go up into canton and low to mid 70s in the mountains here's that trick or treat forecast five o'clock 78 degrees seven o'clock still 74 and by nine o'clock 70 uh, degrees so as trick or treat is wrapping up it's still near the normal high temperature for the date high temperatures on friday still above normal in the upper 70s to lower 80s and how does the weekend look well saturday shaping up to be relatively warm slightly cooler but still mild on Sunday, here is Atlanta's most accurate seven day forecast. Got a few things to tell you about on this seven day, including a rare chance of rain. It's only 20% for us on Friday with that front in our vicinity. And then we stay near 80 degrees right through the end of the work week. Uh, so we start November with relatively warm weather. Also, a lot of nights where the temperature is going to be way above normal in the low 60s for lows for this time of the year. That is awfully mild. Early sunset on Sunday afternoon because we have to set the clocks back or so many of them do it automatically now. But mm. in any event, daylight saving time comes to an end for us back to standard times. That means that early sunset on Sunday, but also a nice brighter earlier sunrise for us on Monday morning. Good news for kids who will be around the bus stop getting a little dark at the bus stop uh, these days. 76 degrees on Monday afternoon and your election day weather also looks just fine with highs in the mid to upper 70s. Thank you, Fred.